there and you're not exactly sure where to go in your conversation. So that's one of the big issues, obviously, with you in regards to that. So let's look at some of these, okay? So these are the favorites. There are 15 per category. We're not going to be able to do all of them, but at least we're going to be able to get an idea of what you need to do. So here we go. Discussing your favorite website. The first thing first, okay, Ping, lie your ass off. You got 30 seconds of preparation. Please do not think of, oh my God, but I don't know. Um, um, no, yes, you do. You better lie your ass off. Okay, I don't know what kind of website it is. The first website that comes to mind is, oh my God, my personal website. There you go. Mm-hmm. Now, that's a, you're not going to be able to obviously do that. You're not, oh my God, I don't have a personal website, but If I could think of any website that's very, very easy, no, you cannot do YouTube, although YouTube is a website. I would probably just do the sports website, ESPN, because I always view ESPN on a routine basis, on a daily basis. So this is something I know about, but I don't know what is your favorite website. So when I ask you, Pete, what's your favorite website? What's the first thing that comes to mind? YouTube. Oh man! Oh, although YouTube, yes, www.youtube.com. Man, I, that's don't, from an application. That's I don't understand a website. Website. Another website. Oh, a www. The World Wide Web. I know YouTube is World Wide Web, and it began World Wide Web, but now it's more social slash application. Oh yes. Oh my God! Is it so I'm a little bit afraid. I don't know. Duolingo is gonna, you know, they should be able to say, "Oh yeah, you talked about YouTube. That's totally fine." I'm pretty sure because again, you get your answer pretty quickly. I don't know who it is that grades your test. AI technology grades your test, right? Yes. Oh shit! Then maybe you should do YouTube. But then again, what is the subject? How often do you use it? Do you know what I mean? You're gonna have to say, "Okay, well, YouTube." This is one of those viewing platforms where you're able to watch videos of different people from around the world and engage in different conversations, et cetera, et cetera. But guess what? Because you got to speak for a minute and a half. It's just going to ask you, how often do you use it and why? Can you speak about YouTube that much? Whereas it is very fascinating and you could speak about it for a minute and a half because yesterday you stopped very early in some of them, didn't you? I saw you stop a couple of times pretty early, and I was like, oh my gosh, she stopped like 20 seconds before. Oh no, she stopped this amount. And then you were just going in circles and repeating the same thing. So that's why I say, talk about a website that you could talk a hell of a lot about. And so that's why I'm saying, again, YouTube might be the first thing, but it might be the most difficult to talk about. Because then you're going to have to think of the genres of YouTube. Right. So what is it? uh, How often do you use it and why? Well, okay. First thing I use it for personal development. Second thing I use it for is to watch sports. But I mean, how much can I talk about with sports? The highlights? Okay. Well, I watch the NFL and the NFL. Then I'm going to go blah, 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 blah. Not a very, very good talk. So is there anything else? Anything else? Uh, If I... Oh, I tell us Bang, Bangkok Post, you know, it's a website. You know. Yeah, the yeah. most xenophobic newspaper in the world. I hate them so much. Yes, yes, that's another website that I actually tune into. You see? Okay. And so me, again, I, lo- I, like, I like to think of it as entertaining bullshit, right? Because they always got their race bait articles and, and all that stuff. But it is something that I could speak about more than YouTube for sure. So then you're going to have to speak about probably two subgenres of how often you use it and why, and they go into that. So obviously you would introduce it. Well, I would like to speak to you about the Bangkok Post. This is one of the main English distributors in terms of newspaper articles, newspapers, et cetera, online here in Thailand. See, I introduced it and I gave it an overview. So I'm sitting at about 15 seconds. Got about a minute and 15 seconds to go. So I'm going to have to put some storytelling into it. I I realized that this is one of the six tips that was on a particular website. If you're able to storytell, it makes it a hell of a lot easier, right? 
And so after I give a summary of what the Bangkok post is, then I could say as an English language learner, this is my go-to newspaper because of two main reasons. Well, first and foremost, I use it very, very often so I can improve my vocabulary. And the reasons why I use it is because last year, uh-oh, I'm going to storytelling now. You got to be able to speak for the amount of time you do. It's not about the moreover, the however, the this, the that. It's about expressing yourself with that spoken fluency. And so with you, yesterday, you were like, uh, moreover, and then you never finished the idea. And I'm like, oh, come on, Pete. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, go back. Oh, oh, shit. No, no, no. You see, that was a lot of that that was happening, right? And so oh, you introduce it. Write that down. Give it an overview. Number three, how often do you use it? You can integrate that in, but you have to give two big ideas that will allow you to speak about it until the minute and a half mark. All right, now this is obviously a harder one. What I would do for homework, get yourself a journal, okay? And what you're gonna do, you get this little nice little entry right here, discuss your favorite website. Just be able to dump your thoughts out on a piece of paper, okay? After you dump your thoughts out on a piece of paper and you look at it, you're gonna be like, man, my thoughts are all over the place. Yeah, that's why we have to gain more clarity and structure everything out. And then after that, you when you begin to get better thoughts and you start to you know construct things better, you can start putting it into voice form because your thing is the spoken fluency. That spoken fluency is everything. So if you were to just go to your iPhone and hit that stopwatch and go, there it is, okay? And I'm gonna be practicing that right here, right now. So nonetheless, does that make sense? So what you, what you need to do, you need to think about the structure. The subject, introduce it, give it an overview, and then give two sub points that, will, that you will expand on until the end of the talk, the one minute and a half. That is the format that you need. See, you didn't necessarily, you did not have a format yesterday. You did not have a format yesterday. And what ended up happening was you were totally lost and you were given ideas and then you said moreover and we're going to be practicing right here and the great thing about this is because we're recording the video you're going to be able to go back and say man what the fuck was i talking about yes that's it that's the awareness that you need okay now huh, that was a lot let's do number two let me do number two this is much easier now Discuss an animal that you admire. Because I am now into the whole saltwater hobby, because I've been investing in fish in about a year, I find it unbelievably fascinating, the clownfish. Thai people know it as the Nemo, okay? Uh -huh. And so we have the Nemo. And so I know I could talk about it a lot because... I've had to learn so many different things about the Nemo, the Chromis, the Royal Gamma, all these different types of fish, because obviously the things that I've had to overcome in the past year in terms of learning about water, phosphates, all that stuff. So based on my experience being, I'm over the last year, I learned so much about one particular fish and of several others that are in the same school as him. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to speak about it both through storytelling. So going back to the question, discuss an animal that you admire. What exactly is it? I'm going to give a nice reference point to the past. Well, at the beginning of this year, I was walking into a store out here in Bangkok, Thailand. And when I got to the middle of it, I realized that there were a number of different tanks that were blue. And it seemed what looked to be like fish in these tanks. So I walked up and I realized, OMG, this is the first time I've seen a clownfish, also known as a Nemo, right before more my eyes. You see what I mean? So I'm giving a reference to the situation that happened, and that's about 20 to 25 seconds. I already talked about the wind. 
I already talked about the where. And so then I'm going to go in for the next minute in terms of I decided to, and I decided to buy the fish tank with a couple of clownfish in it. And then I embarked on a journey until this day, learning about so many things about the clownfish. So the reason why I am so interested, I'm not going to repeat the question. Pain, rule number one, you yesterday, you said you were repeating all the vocabulary. You did not paraphrase at all. If you want to score 100, if mm. you want to hit that 100, please paraphrase. Do not say fond. Do not say fond. You're going to say the reason why I'm so intrigued and fascinated by this clownfish is because they're very aggressive. And in the first couple of clownfish that I actually had met before, the female ended up growing very large and attacked her husband, ultimately eating it. And then I had to buy other clownfish. And then those clownfish adapted the same behavior as them. So I had to take one back because it became overly aggressive. See, I'm just talking about clownfish, baby. <laughs> I'm talking about what I know about, Ping. You know what I mean? And so this is what you need to do. Make a reference. I didn't even look at questions B, C, where it says when and where. I literally just talked about a reference point to the beginning of this year when I bought my first saltwater fish tank with two clownfish in it. A very small one at that, only $50, 1,500 baht. And then I just went all the way through. Got it? So that's what you gotta do. When it comes down to in Duolingo, it's such a beautiful thing because you're doing this on the computer. It's the art of storytelling. You're probably looking at these questions and say, discuss an animal that I admire. What exactly is it? A fucking course, it's a giraffe.